What's happening? It's Shane here. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about the top five grants to start a business in 2021. All right. So this has been a highly, highly requested video. Back in 2019, I made a couple videos about my experience writing grants because I used to work for a 501c3 nonprofit organization and I helped them apply for a bunch of different grants. So I shared my experience and both of the videos absolutely blew up. They both got over 100,000 views. I had no idea that these videos were gonna blow up so much, and I had so many different requests to make more videos on the topic, but the truth is I pretty much said it all in those videos, but when 2020 happened with all of the stimulus checks and all the grants, et cetera, from the government, I decided it was time to basically redo those videos and make even better versions for the current times. Definitely one of the most requested topics though. I've literally gotten, you know, email after email. Uh, one guy joined my Patreon and he basically told me he wanted to pay me to personally coach him how to write grants. And I told him that I'm just way too busy with the YouTube channel and my normal job. And so I wouldn't be able to do that. But hopefully this makes up for it. I am basically going to spill all the beans in this video, I'm gonna tell you all of the best possible stuff that you can do in order to get grants in 2021. All right, so jumping right into it right after you gently tap that like button, let's aim for 5,000 likes on this video. Let's see if we can do it. And then also hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Only about 18% of you or so are subscribed and out of those 18%, only about 8% of you actually hit the notification bell and turn on all notifications. So I think we can do better. We pump those numbers up. Those are some rookie numbers. Um, but actually, I seriously appreciate it. So if you could do that, I would love that. Thank you so much. So number one on the list, uh, my whole philosophy when it comes to grants and all this sort of thing is you want to start local first, right? So you want to start small and then start thinking big. And most people do the opposite. They go online and they start applying for all these like random grants that are like national or like international grants and the truth is like so many people are applying for those and so your chances are very low but if you start local your chances are going to be much higher because not that many people are going to end up applying now the programs that usually do these grants are either going to be city or county programs and basically these offices are set up to make sure that the local community economically flourishes and they're basically designed this way to encourage people who might not have started a business or maybe they would wouldn't have even been productive at all to start one. Now, the whole thing about these local sites is there's, first of all, there's like so many different ones. And second of all, they're going to be different depending on where you live, what county you live in, the city you live in, et cetera, right? So unfortunately, there's no like national or international site you can go to in order to find this out. The best way is actually just to Google it. And the best way to do this is to either type in your state and then the words small business development center, or you just basically type in the name of your city and then again, small business development center. And then you would wanna go on the website and look to see what resources they have on there. You know, some websites are gonna be designed better than others. And if the website isn't helpful, go ahead and call the number on the website and they should be able to help you if you explain your situation to them. And they will be able to provide you with all the way from obviously grants. Uh, sometimes they'll be able to give you loans that have very low interest rates. And they'll also be able to help you with other things like setting up your business, uh, consulting services, uh, doing accounting for tax purposes, and then also marketing. Now, again, you wanna start local, try to find ones that that are the closest to your city as possible and then branch out. So after you start local, maybe do the county. After you do the county, then try the state. Now, after you've done this, the next step, number two, is going to be for you to call your elected officials. And the reason for this is because congressmen and congresswomen have people that are dedicated to answer questions from people. And the way you can find these lines, these dedicated lines, is to go to votesmart.org. Now, people who are elected as congressmen and congresswomen likely want to get reelected. So I'm just being honest honest here, that is the main reason that they set up these lines. But basically, you want to describe your situation to them. Always, always, always be very nice to people. Be very cordial. You know, if they don't know the answer, tell them, hey, is there any way you could maybe ask somebody else that might know the answer? Be as nice as possible. I, I can't believe I even have to say this. Obviously, don't be a Karen on the phone. 
Uh, you know, they are taking time out of their day to help you, but explain your situation to them. And a lot of the time they will be able to set you up with not only state funding, but sometimes also national or federal funding. If they aren't able to directly set you up, they might lead you in the right direction. They might have access to phone numbers and emails that would be people who actually know about this stuff or are able to help you directly. I know a guy who knows a guy who knows another guy. The thing about the government is it offers a ton of grants, but is super, super, super disorganized and it's not efficient at all. So you have to go out there and actually find these things, right? Unfortunately, they're not organized. They don't just, you know, give you a list or anything like that. Or if they do give you a list, it's usually uh, very unorganized and incomplete. So there's lots of opportunities for grants that never even get applied for. Resource number three is for you to actually go to your local library. Libraries are an extremely underutilized resource. Now, sometimes the librarians themselves may be able to help you out with this. If you, you know, set up an appointment, go in there. Again, be very nice to them, be very cordial, and explain your situation to them and ask them if they know of anything that they can do to help you out. However, even if the librarian themselves can't help you out, a lot of the time they'll be able to point you towards somebody who can. And if they can't do that, at the very least, libraries oftentimes will have access to databases that are basically subscription services that cost sometimes tens of thousands of dollars per year. And these databases are updated and that's why they cost money, right? Because you know you have to have people in order to update these databases in real time and do all that research. And they basically will show you grants from different nonprofit and private organizations that are currently being offered. And these databases are specifically good at finding the really rare ones, the ones that are usually offered in you know cities, counties or states. Now, once you've exhausted all of your local resources, the next step is for you to start looking at dedicated programs. These are gonna be state and national programs that a ton of people know about. So there's definitely gonna be a lot more competition for these grants, but at the same time, there's also going to be a lot more of them. So a great website, for instance, is careeronestop.org, and they will give you $250,000 potentially for you to train yourself and or your employees. And this is usually for fundamental, super important, stuff like marketing, sales, customer service, etc. Another really good one is nist.gov and basically what they do is they will audit your business for free in order for you to increase your sales. And this is essentially free consulting that would usually cost if you hired a private company something like five to ten thousand dollars for like a week. And all of this is completely free. And there are a ton of different government programs like this like I said. Um, again it's easier to get the grants from the local ones but um, there's a lot more grants from the government programs. All right, number five on this list is going to be for you to check out, I'm not even gonna say the word, but COVID related grants. And the reason I'm not saying the word is because YouTube's gonna demonetize the video if I do. Why? Why not? The situation related grants, loans, and programs. Now this is obviously stuff like the stimulus checks, uh, also PPP loans. You know, when the stimulus check thing was happening, I think I made a total of three videos. Uh, there were channels that literally made hundreds of videos. They would make like two or three videos a day on the stimulus checks. I don't know how they did it because there's really not that many updates for like months at a time. But these channels grew from nothing to like hundreds of thousands of subscribers just talking about stimulus checks. But there's also the PPP loans. This is the small business loans that you basically either don't have to pay back at all, or if you do have to pay them back, they don't have any interest. There's the Shuttered Venue Operations Grant or SVOG and that is basically for types of businesses who were operational but because of the situation in the world they had to close down so for instance if your business was making about a million dollars a year just to make things simple and you had to close it down you may be eligible for up to 45 percent of what you would have made so in this case that would be four hundred and fifty thousand dollars and that is a grant not a loan so you wouldn't have to pay that back right so there is literally dozens of different covid related grants and loans and you know services definitely check those out online again Google is gonna be your friend here you literally just have to type it in and I'm actually gonna make a second video where I kind of delve a little more deeply into those specific grants so definitely stay tuned for that but overall uh, this video I'm gonna go ahead and end it here 
Hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any comments, uh, thoughts, etc. down in the description below, any grants that you've applied for. And uh, check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, gently tap the like button, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. And I will see you next time.